Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and today I'm going to be suggesting five features that I think should be added into Minecraft for the consoles by developers 4J Studios, because right now Minecraft on the console is a really fun experience. It's like Minecraft on the PC, right? But, you know, there's hop-in, hop-out multiplayer, you can play it with your con uh, controller, just sit back, relax. It's a really fun experience. I enjoy it a lot myself, that's why I have a channel around it, of course. However, a lot of the stuff that made Minecraft on the PC successful, so stuff like, uh, you know, there's the multiplayer, for instance, there's all the maps you can download, there's even mods and stuff, uh, that's stuff really made Minecraft successful, and a lot of that doesn't even have an equivalent on the console right now. So in this video, I'm going to be suggesting five things that I think could really help out, and if you like this, please do like the video and let me know, because it also, if you have your Twitter linked, it'll tweet it at 4 Studios because of the title, and hopefully they at least see it and maybe consider it, and you know, hopefully, you know, at least one of these features makes into the game. So without further ado, let's make it into the first point, which is going to be command blocks, except with a more console-friendly GUI, so graphical user interface, so you can just click AAA and select what you want that way. So basically on PC right now, uh, the command block, what it does is you can type in your own custom command, any command, so you can like make the tick speed go faster, you can move time faster, you can, you know, actually ch teleport people around, you know, whether it be certain people, you can give people items, there are so many different commands you can use. Uh, however, on the console, that's not really too friendly, because you have to type, uh, you know, slash TP at Toycat, uh, you know, then the really specific coordinates, and that's not really too convenient, uh, especially for the consoles to even make it, or to actually play with it. So what I think would be a way better idea idea is if they added a graphical user interface. So that means that instead of selecting, uh, you know, slash TP at P, uh, you know, to the certain coordinates, what you could instead type is there'd be options. So you could be like, okay, so I want it to be the nearest player. So it'd just be nearest player. Uh, I want to teleport them and I want to teleport them to, uh, and then the third box would be like a uh, certain set of coordinates. So you could be like, I want to teleport them to spawn or I want to teleport them to, uh, you know, where it might be. And you can use these command blocks in these ways to do some really cool things and still have them very accessible. So Unlike the PC command blocks, they wouldn't have to be locked away for people who use a specific command. They could just be there available and then have a really, you know, in-depth tutorial in the tutorial because uh, the really cool thing about Minecraft on the console is it does have a tutorial and you could use a part of that tutorial to teach people one redstone and two uh, the command blocks which means people would learn how to make maps from the day they get their Xboxes and a lot of people have the most fun in Minecraft when making maps so that would really be a win-win for everyone because if people enjoy making maps then they can make them if they don't want to use them they're just another block in the game and I think that would really work out so command blocks are quite likely to be added in the next update anyway uh, of course it's hard to say because they're a very PC specific feature, but you can, you know, port them to the console in a different way, and I think they could work. So feature number two that I think should be added would have to be publicly joinable games. So right now on any of the consoles, to have someone in your game, they have to either be a friend of yours or a friend of a friend of yours. So, you know, they either have to be directly on your friends list or be on the friends list of anyone on your friends list, which is cool enough because they originally put it in so that you wouldn't get griefers on your world that didn't know that came in to troll you. But I think at this point, I think it's worth going through that, having anti grief protection, which is in the game, by the way. You can disable any per uh, permissions for anyone who isn't your friend, uh, but you could still have people tour your world that aren't the friend of a friend. Uh, as a YouTuber, this hits me directly, but I know there's a lot of you guys, too, that, you know, that you'll try and get into a game and be like, oh, we can't play together, we're not friends. So, right now, if you want to play with people you don't know, you have to go to an external forum, or my comment section, or something like that, find other people who are like-minded, and then add them. That feels like a lot of, you know, effort to go through for something that could be a part of the game for everyone. So, what I recommend here, to make the game both fun and friendly and not, you know, awful like a lot of matchmaking can get, is just have a separate option when you go to play games, so you can play by yourself, you can play with friends, or there's a search for game options. So, uh, you could have a few categories defined by 4J, so it could just be basic survival, creative, you could even have, like, mini game option in there. Just have loads of basic options like that, and then have, like, chat, uh, you know, options. So, if you're, you know, really young, then there's no chat, there's no game chat, no one can harass you, anything like that. I think that's a really important thing to get down. A lot of people who play Minecraft are really young, you don't want to, you know, expose them to people who can be really toxic online. However, for the people who are, you know, older and can talk online and do play lots of other games, I think there should be options so you can be like, you know, what? I'd like to play some Hunger Games. I want to finish any of that set up. And if you just allow people to play, you know, survival games, play some hide and seek, play uh, Sky Wars, anything like that that people have made maps for. I've made maps for. So many other people have made maps for it. Then imagine the amount of fun that people could have with the game without even having to be friends of a YouTuber or having to be friends of someone who downloads maps. I think it would be so fun. And you know, the amount of fun I would. 
already even have as someone who can do it already, just being able to public search for it and just get into a game like that, I think it would be a really important thing. So it'd have to be managed in the right way, like you'd have to make sure people are being safe fit. And I think Realms is a good opportunity to do that because, you know, you can have your server set to a certain description and maybe, you know, the money they make from that could partly be used to fund, you know, moderation and stuff. But I would really love to see publicly joinable games. Imagine just publicly searching for Sky Wars and just getting into one. It'd be a lot easier, it'd be a lot more fun, and it means more people can play these game modes that they see on the PC but can't play on the consoles right now. So that's idea number two. Uh, the third one I'd probably have to say would be uh, more host options for the host. So right now, uh, they've been making really good, important leaps every update. So uh, at first it was just you could make people moderator and you could kick them. Uh, after that, you can you know let people allow themselves to fly. You can give people permissions. So if you don't want them building your, on your stuff, or if you're playing a Hunger Games, you can make people not attack players for a while. There are so many options that like to customize the experience of your game and have a more fun multiplayer experience, basically. Uh, but there could still be more. So teleporting, a really nice feature. But what if you add more stuff to that. So let's say uh, you can have host options that like to change kind of more stuff about how the world works. So you could have a host option that turns everything into double speed or you know half gravity. So everyone dumped, jumps double as high, kind of like a space level. You could allow people to make space maps like that, or you could you know have a more fun PvP experience. To expand on that more, it wouldn't even have to be silly stuff that isn't currently available. It could just be stuff like change the game mode for certain players. So you could be applying around creative, but you could have some people in survival. Uh, you could have stuff like change difficulty for different players. That would be a really fun thing. There are so many useful and fun things that you could have as far as your actual like you know ad adding adding the host to have more abilities in multiplayer games and I think if you combine this with you know the public games I think you could combine them and get a really useful uh, little combination there so I definitely think host should have more option uh, the, f the final little host option that I think should be recommended is uh, for the host to be able to toggle an in-game chat so uh, right now if you want to talk to people you have to use signs but that only works for one person and if they're looking at it however or you can you know, talk down the mic but if people don't have mics enabled what you could do is have a chat that people can pop up and anyone can talk in it and they could just say hey guys how about we head spawn starting in two minutes something like that just being able to get a message across to the whole world i think it'd be pretty cool and you know it's a part of pc uh right now that should be put on console in some at least i think so anyway so uh the fourth feature i'm gonna have to suggest is going to be map sharing so right now if you want to go out and play a hunger games like i said you can't do that because uh there's nothing really to do that uh or if you want to go out and play a survival map like let's say you want to play skyblock you want to play one of these really fun challenges i've seen some really cool xbox maps that i just can't download and it's like ah, oh, i'd really like to play that and i i can't help but imagine that if you've never downloaded a map that's you too uh so imagine okay there's a help options menu or like in the store somewhere you can go in there and you can find other people's maps. Maybe they're moderated by 4J or maybe it's just like go in at your own risk and find what you want and can people could put their maps off download. Of course there'd be lots of bad stuff in there. There'd be someone who's like, oh here's a single piece of red wool at spawn. Like, look how cool it is. Please rate five stars. But you could get really amazing maps just put on there already and it'd allow people to one, get more exposure of the work they spend a lot of time on. Like uh, some map makers spent ridiculous amounts of time on their work and it would too allow people to be like, uh, you know, find the maps they want to find uh, personally, I'd go in there looking for fun survival maps if I need those, or like CTM maps. There is a lot of options of this, and I really, you know, I, I'm excited the day that one day we might be able to share maps. Uh, I think Realms, again, makes this more of a possibility, because then you could just, you know, download the map and put it onto your Realm server, instead of locally downloading it, and you could play around with lots of other people's maps. It would definitely add more needs for servers, and I think maybe with that perspective, like, ooh, we'll sell more servers, that might be, you know, a way to sell it to them. I, I don't know. I, I really think map sharing would go hand in hand with servers and I, I hope they consider them together. So uh, for the final idea, this one is already one that's possible and it already has been done but you know was disabled for technical reasons. Basically infinite worlds on the current gen system. So Xbox One and PS4. So they are capable of uh, you know infinite worlds but there are save size re restrictions which you can actually see when you go to your Xbox One uh, you know file size you can see how much of that bar you've used. However despite all of my efforts to fill up a world as much as I can I've still only got like one tenth of that bar filled. So even if I explored so much of the world like I went hundreds of thousands of blocks in one direction I don't think I'd come close to filling the bar and I, then I'd have to work on it all and stuff. Uh, I really can't see why it has to be that way. Maybe that was where they thought it was safe but I wish that there was a way to expand it and be like okay so if you really want an infinite world you can untick this box. It's dangerous you might you know hit the file size limit but just if you want to do it you can. I'd really like to see that put in the game. If you can't do that locally because you know there is save size restrictions and you know Microsoft and Sony are really really uh, you know restrictive on what you can do there which they have said is the reason and I think you know it's the total limit that they could work around but if that's not their thing then what you could do instead is when realms come 
because realms isn't stored locally, you could have an infinite world quite easily because, you know, there's no save size restrictions on a Mojang server, for instance. Uh, you could just have an infinite world that takes up, like, a hundred, hundreds and hundreds of megs, and that might not be a problem. I, I hope that is the case. So those are five features that I think should be added to the game that would really, really improve it and help it catch up to the PC, but in a different way, you know, more console kind of focus. So first one, command blocks, but with a GUI, so you can just click what you want, put it in the game, and then, you know, you can press a red button, and then it's just done. Like, choose like a piece of redstone on the console rather than the kind of more modding functionality that has on PC. Uh, I would like to see more host options, so stuff like uh, a chat, stuff like the ability to toggle rain on and off, uh, change the time of day, loads of stuff like that. Give the host that power because, you know, if you're playing a multiplayer game, they kind of need to have power so they can, you know, make everyone's experience fun. On the same note, have publicly joinable games so that people can get into any game with anyone just with restrictions based on their ages. Because we don't want people, you know, joining into toxic games if they're too young, but we do want people to be able to link up and play the social part of Minecraft. Minecraft is so great because it's like Lego, but even more social. I, I think a lot of people describe it that way, and I'd like to see that put in there. Uh, map sharing should be a thing. You should be able to just share your maps because if you work on something a long time, you'd like to be able to share it, and lots of people would like to be able to download it. It's a win win for everyone. Uh, of course, hosting it might be difficult but I'd still like to see it anyway. Uh, and finally, the fifth thing is I think Infinite Worlds, whether it be through Realms, whether it be through uh, just allowing people to untick a box and take the risk, I really want to see Infinite Worlds just so I can run forever. I just haven't had that experience and I just want to do it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can like it and let me know. Again, if it's linked to your Twitter, it will tweet at 4J Studios because of the title and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you did do that. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys in the next one.